What up, y'all? Welcome to another Cube McMoob. Oh, shit. This is an awkward situation, guys. My good friend Nick Esposito has a have Yorion as your commander stipulation. However, there's a Mox Emerald. <laughs> and you know what? Because of Nick, because he's the dude... So here's the other thing, right? Here's the other thing. I want you to hear me out. We could take the Mox, wheel the Yorion. I'm 100% sure this will wheel, but we know we're going to get it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tangle wires, maybe eight. We're going to take a risk here, guys. We're doing it. Um, I think Elspeth's Son's Champion might come back. Elspeth Conquers Death probably won't, and I think it's Elspeth Conquers Death. It would. It might be the first time one won't wheel. Looking at the cards in the pack, I did not feel comfortable about a wheeling. That's why we didn't take it. Um... It doesn't matter if anyone respects it. Like, I agree with you that no one does, but, like... There's nothing good in there. There wasn't like eight good cards in the pack other otherwise. I'm gonna take Elspeth. Sheldock Isle is interesting. We could re-blink it. So here's the thing about Sheldock Isle. I love it as a card. I'm afraid of having it in my deck because I have to play 60 cards. I kind of want Frost Titan. Because if you consider we have to have 60 cards in our deck, 24 of those are lands, which means 36 of them. I want to take Heath. I think Frost Titan will come back. Also, I was thinking of being Bant. Um, yes, it's not to have Yorion in your deck. The stip is have Yorion as your companion. So we have to... Face Fetters actually seems pretty good. It's awkward passing Gristlebrand. And Fallen Shinobi, I love you so. But I'm going to stick with the white here. <laughs> Excuse me. I like a bird of paradise. I also like a Jace Balaran. Could be bird, and we could actually take a bunch of early mana dorks. Oh man, this is wild. Yeah, you can I can see right through it. Kind of. <clears throat> I think it's birds. Okay, okay. This is an interesting pack. <clears throat> what ways is our deck going to have to get an Ulamog Infinite Gyre into play? I think it's actually Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus is great with Yorion. Resets the Persist counter and it triggers it again. I'm going to assume that this is going to be a good pick. Alright, guys. We're just going to be trying to play, like, Bant good stuff. The reason we're being, playing Bant and not, like, we could just be white or we could just be... Okay, well, maybe we're four-color good stuff now. <clears throat> Nick, we passed a Mox Emerald for you to take this Yorion first pick, bro. I had a Mox Emerald and I passed it for you. I hope you, I hope you appreciate it. I think it is Big Gids. Oh, I like a Courser of Crew Fix. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, there's also an Entomb. We passed the Gristlebrand. 
Birds of Paradise is basically Mox Emerald. It's true. It's like a Mox Diamond that you don't have to discard a, a land for. Come on. Same thing. Ooh, Tribelder? We could also be Bant. We, or not Bant. We could also be Abzan. <clears throat> I think we're going with Tribelder here. What up, Badger? Good seeing you, my dude. Hope you're having an alright morning. Badger, have you moved yet? Are you in the new place? <clears throat> yeah, someone got packed, pack, pack two, pack one, pick two, Mox Emerald, and then the person that passed it is also in green, so. Badger, hope you, oh yes, I was hoping this Elspeth came back. Badger, hope you're settling, settling in well, buddy. Also, Mirari's Wake is pretty sweet here, right? I can't take ever Elspeth. I love Marari's Wake, but... Morning's been good. Great to hear. Great to hear. You got a gym, uh... A little gym visit planned? You gotta get those gains. You're my first stop of the day. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you, my dude. I see, like, Vindicate's here, and I'm just like, are we Abzan? Because Abzan seems fine. We haven't actually done an Abzan deck yet. Oh, Jim will be in three hours. Nice. Man, you gotta... Uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a... Uh, an organized schedule. Or at least it sounds like it. I'm just like, yeah, I got stream today. I'll probably start at two. And I'll... The fuck? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Oh, Crutch Thank Jr., you. welcome back, my dude. Oh, Crutch Jr. with the gifted subs, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why are you here? <clears throat> this is a late fiery confluence. No one's gonna get it. You don't maelstrom pulse, guys. We're Abzan for sure. I'm feeling good about this windswept teeth. Day of judgment's great. No vintage cube leaves tomorrow, my dude. It's never nothing leaves on a Tuesday. In the history of magic, no format has ever leave, left on a Tuesday. Fractured identity, boys. Okay, so we need 36 playables. Pilgrim over Fractured Identity? <laughs> I'll splash a blue, buddy. Come on. Just stop it. Chase the Mind Sculptor? <clears throat> Fuck. Alright, maybe we're just splashing the black. Holy smokes, and a Teferi too? Okay, well, we're just taking this. Four colors is so hard because you don't have the flexibility to take the lands when you're doing this. Of course, the one signet is a signet that does not have either of our colors in it. It might just be Whisperwood. Yeah, Warden blinks all right. We can just play five colors, guys, right? All right, guys? Guys? Is it just him to Torok? I think the Arid Mesa. I think it's the Arid. Uh, nothing, nothing that, that pack is really striking me, so. Control magic seems nice. Another card you can blink and put it on something else. That seems good. Also, Lumbering Falls. I'm going to take the Control Magic. 
two red lands. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think it's just Carnage Tyrant? I mean, it's not blinkable, but it's still very good. <clears throat> Blight Steel. Sylvan Carry Added's got to be the pick, even though there's a Teferi in the pack. Is it Teferi? We get to Fracture Identity at instant speed. It's got to be Teferi, right? Of course, another Red Land, which we don't really need. Phantasmal Woman seems good. <clears throat> I mean, we're only splashing black for like Vindicate and Maelstrom Pulse here, so. Is this Target? Is it. Oh, it's not. Exile any number of other non-land permanents you own. It doesn't target them. So we can actually exile a Phantasmal Image. Stirring Wildwood seems great here, but so does Path. I think we gotta go with the Path. That sucks. <clears throat> The problem is we have to maximize the number of picks we have. We have to have 36 playables. Out of 40. It means like only 9 cards cannot be played and we already have 5. It's kind of rough. Well, I guess we can play 25 lands. 26 lands maybe even. Really pushing it. <clears throat> Your hand's really weird in the cube. Like... You're not going to play it as your commander very frequently. Like, if ever. Like, outside of the stip, I can't even imagine doing it. Okay, Breeding Pool is pretty great. Probably going to take a Breeding Pool. We can get it with Windswept Heath. Winds of Abandon. <clears throat> uh, I don't love Tristani when we have control magic. I do want Winds, though. I think Winds is great. Hey, Fairgrounds Warden came back. Knight of the Reliquary actually doesn't seem terrible here. I'm still not a big fan of it. I think I'd still rather just have Tithe Taker. Because I'll play Tithe Taker. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just take a card that I can actually slot into my deck if I really have to. Put Control Magic on Tristani. Yeah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> These last three picks are going to be pretty brutal. <clears throat> the problem is that I'd rather have a 2 drop than another 3 drop I feel like our 3 drop's gonna get filled and I'd rather have cards to play early when we have like wins and image oh wow having my elder coming back was great Flooded Strand seems great. Night of Autumn seems great. I think because of our deck, we have to take Night of Autumn here, which I'm going to do. Mana Drain. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to take Mana Drain. I think it's just too strong. 
I don't think Double Blue is that big of a deal because we already have Control Magic and Mind Sculptor. <clears throat> I do think I have to avoid lands, which is really, really awkward. I also think we're going to be playing like 26 lands here. My kingdom for a coalition relic. Euro seems real sweet. Let's take a Euro. Twenty six lands, you're still only gonna draw two by turn nine. It's true. That's wild. Oh, I like watery grave here. Can we get it with anything? We literally cannot get it with anything. I still think it's the pick. We don't have any blue black cards, which is nice, so we don't have to like share it. This is 25 cards. We need nine more playables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I think it's watery grave. We can't we can't we can't kneecap ourselves that much. I like remand a lot, but we gotta be able to cast our spells here. Arid Mesa currently only gets planes. Nicholas, what have you done? I mean, cards that are good with Yorion, outside of Planeswalkers. So not bad. Restoration Angel seems good. So this Factor Fiction. Oh, is this? oh man, I mean Resto seems nice. We have a bunch of decent targets for it. Woodfall Primus, Fairgrounds Warden, Knight of Autumn. We can blink Euro on the stack. It's either Resto or Factor Fiction for sure. Is that true? That's wild. I took Factor Fiction. I think it's just I think it's just better, guys. I like Orzov Signet. Oh god, I like Leovold too. We don't have any Leovold things to go with. Phyrexian Metamorph, I like Sword. This this pack is amazing. It might be Signet, it's just an easy way to fix. Hollowed Fountain makes Arid Mesa a little better, but the problem is Signet actually gives us another playable, which I think it has to be. Ugh. I mean, I just it's a, it's an easy way to fix black. And we're definitely playing Vindicate and Maelstrom Pulse for sure. I, I definitely wanted to take Leovold for sure. We just don't have any ways to exploit it. Like, we don't have any ways to make them draw. Tundra seems amazing. Guys, we just got paid off for not... But then there's a Nissa. We got paid off for taking a Hollow Fountain. Taking a Hollow Fountain. Um, 27. We need eight more picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not good. That's not good. I gotta take Tundra. You're right. You're right. That's sad. Um, <clears throat> is Terastodon an option? I think Terastodon's probably better than Beast Within here. I don't think Spirit's that great. It's just a 2-1. Like, we don't have any swords. We don't have any, like, ninjas. We don't have, like, Shinobi or anything. Could be decent with Day of Judgment, though. I, I don't like Beast only because we do have Vindicate and Maelstrom Pulse. I want to take the... I'll take the 2-drop. I could see Selfless Spirit because we do have Day of Judgment in the main deck, so... No beats within. <laughs> oh, Terastodon's good with the Orion, but I think if we cast a Terastodon, we're probably already fine.
Trigon Predator is fine. I mean, we, I don't think we could take a Hissing Quagmire here. We really got to take like five more playables. Let's take Angel Invention, maybe. Actually, Den Protector is probably pretty good here. I'm here for the bad land beats, but we'll stay for your amazing content. Wow. Wow. Alright, we need four more playables. Unfortunately, two of the best, three of the best cards in our sideboard are double red, quad black, triple black. Hero of Bladehold is really good. Yeah, I'm taking Hero of Bladehold. Oh god, Stoneforge Mystic with literally no no equipment whatsoever. Oh wow, we're not there yet. We gotta take Murderous Rider. I actually like Murderous Rider, we just don't have the black to support it. Oh boy. This is a real, this is a real grind, man. Oh wow, Resto came back? <gasps> Holy crap. If the last two picks are one land, one playable, I'm just gonna lose my mind. I don't think this is a guy's playable, to be honest with you. Double black is just not. We got a better chance of playing like 3-5 Forge Master. Oh shit! <laughs> Bizarre of Baghdad. Come on. I guess it was a land. Wow, we have five fixing lands. Could be worse. We also have Yavmai Elder, Sakura Tribe Elder, lots of Elders, a Bird of Paradise. Yeah, we're clearly banned. I guess we just have to play Murderous Rider? I don't think we played 27 lands, so. The deck is like, nah man, sorry, we don't have any land suggestions for you. So 9, 10, 11, 12, white, sure. Let's go to 11. Green, we have one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight and seven. So we'd get six more lands. Eight more lands. Blue, Arid Mesa does not get a blue, right? Yes, it does get the Tundra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, only three double green. Like, that's not a lot. Like, I mean, we have five double white cards, so. Yeah, that, yeah, it definitely thinks we're locked into 40. We're like... But it still didn't give us one land, which was weird, right? Uh, So, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to write this down. White, ten sources. Blue, we have three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Every land is blue. Uh, black, we have one, two, literally just three. And green, we have six, seven, eight. And this gives us six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is ten, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We get three more lands. It's not bad. Well, yeah, I'm not forgetting Orzov Sagan or, um, or uh, Yavimai Elder or Tribe Elder. Three more lands. We also have another white, oh, another black, and birds is anything. So we'll say 
Uh, all five, all five. We have three cards that are all five. So actually, we'll just count that. 11, 4, and three wild cards, which is Bird, Screw Tribe Elder, and yep, my Elder. Oh man, this deck is wild. So we still get three more, three more slots. I don't want to draw too many, but I think we're definitely adding another one of these. It's for nine. Another one of another island. Because we definitely want two blue for most of these. Mana Drain, Control Magic, Jace. Uh, and another black because we do have early Leovold. So that gives us a lot here. So now we have three, four, five with the Signet. 26 lands, 18 creatures. I mean, the deck looks sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot of this monstrosity. And we got Yorion on the sideboard. Nicholas, this is for you, buddy. Hope you're, hope you're resting in peace up there. Am I dead? <laughs> Nick, I could like... I was waiting for his... I'm like, I can hear his response in my head. Did I die? Oh, man. <laughs> Nick, I hate to tell you, but you've been dead for a long time, and the only way you can communicate is through Twitch chat. It's been a weird ride, buddy, but... It's always good hearing from you. It's like you're like the kid in Sixth Sense, only instead of seeing dead people, you can talk to people through Twitch chat, so... And in the movie that is your life, your goal has been to get the girl you love to stream on Twitch so that you can finally talk to her. Can we make that movie? <laughs> oh, man. Nick? Uh, choose your companion? Oh, yeah, we're choosing him. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this look at this hand, man. It's so good. It's actually not terrible. Any black lets us play pulse. Any green lets us play this. Any white lets us play this. A mox emerald might have been good for this deck. The thing is, I don't think we could do better with this deck, so. The Twitch sense going to coming time theaters? That doesn't even make any sense. That's a that's some sort of time travel joke. Keep. Man, an Oko would be bonkers in this deck. I can think we could do better. Really? Man. Oh. What do you think now? A mock sound? Yeah, that's well, that's literally what I'm referencing, yes. That wasn't just like a random this is the best card I can think of comment. That was literally just me referencing the, the exact card. Oh god. Something scary is happening. White channel? Is it white channel? I don't I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. Huh 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 gonna uh, the times that you have the touch. I probably should have played island, right? Because then if we draw you have my elder, it lets us play that. Uh if we draw white if we draw green, like if we draw mana drain, it lets us keep that up. The problem is we're playing towards double blue, double green, and double white cards. Alright, looks like our Day of Judgment could be good here. We do have to draw another white source, because I assume that's what they're going to always tap down. What's a Stormwild Caprador? I actually have no idea what that is.
Now I'm stepping into the danger zone. Is as I might out being like me. Oh, I don't know. They're gonna go cry. This was some, this was this was a bad move. When you go to know when the bullet hits the bone. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, you got it. Oh, one thing we can do is block and then sack so that they don't get the counters. I like that. If we draw black, we can pulse. If we draw green, we can elder. I assume they're tapping down the white. That seems like the... Uh... Name that band. I actually don't know if I can, dude. It's not the Steve Miller band, right? That's Aber... No, they have a way different sound. Is it Golden Earring? Is that right? They're thinking about which land to tap. Wow, it is Golden Earring. That's wild, dude. Driving all night, my hands wet on the wheel. Bam, ding, 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 ding. I was my head in shifting gears. They're going to tap the white. They're going to tap the blue. Who cares? Who cares? Dang it! Give me a kiss to build a dream on. Why would they tap the blue, man? That would have been amazing if we could just, like... Dang. I'm upset. George is getting upset. Well, there's a lot of things happening right now. A lot of equipment being thrown around here. Are they going to flip this Legion's Landing? There's a lot of triggers. Now I'm stepping into the twilight zone. Blizzards are my hearts. We're gonna we're gonna day of judgment here. Wait, I could have put your hand in my hand last turn, right? Dang it. Can you clarify if this is a Magic the Gathering collectible card game stream or a singing stream? I can. But I won't. Because I feel like you don't learn any lesson if I do that. I'm really glad we took Factor Fiction and Jace because there's definitely like a, a high, a strong desire to, to churn through our deck. 
I mean, they can actually activate Muta Vault to equip with one, one, two, three, four. They could actually equip with both Jitte and Sword. That just kills us, right? Maybe they don't see it. They might. They probably see it. Shut right? up and take my money. Oh, okay. I'll do that. When the bullet hits the boner. <laughs> One, when the bullet hits the boner, Buck. Yep, here we go. Yeah, this is 10. Yep, that was cool. That was a fun game. Lost to one porcelain legionnaire. Uh, do we sideboard anything? Nope, guess not. Okay. Yep, that's a ship. That's a keep. That's a pretty good keep. Let's get rid of Murderous Rider because you're never going to get cast. God, yeah, my Elder is never going to not get cracked. What up, Reaver's Fall? What up, SPCLD? Oh, what up, Garrett? I'll never forget that now. So now we're going to go one, two, three. This, this dude. Oh man, our man is going to be so good. Can you imagine? Thank you. Oh, Garrett with the gift of sub, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, when it, when that when the old white guy dies, you get his property. That's basically Oh, look at that. These guys love their jittes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Crack this guy. Um Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Let's get an island and a swamp. Draw card. Play an island. Now let's get a green out of this because that's what we really want, baby. So now we get to block, sacrifice, cast Gideon Jura. Hippity hoppity, island swamp property. It's true. It's true. This is magic the way it was meant to be played. Oh, you're just going to level that dude up? And you're going to equip? Come on, we know you're going to equip. Don't say you're not going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That does nothing. I think we get a second white here. Because it also lets us play Gideon and keep path up. Gidgeon. Gidgeon in the kitchen. Kill that idiot immediately. They wasted four mana on that creature. Can you imagine? It's Gidgeon in the kitchen. We are not going to attack here. 
Oh, I hit the microphone. Hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. Bird is sending a message that he can he can path to exile something. That's Bird's message. Oh yeah, big tip. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. What's hold up? T -t -t Today, Junior. Containment priest at sorcery speed. Just so they can equip. All right. Oh, that's pretty decent. Oh, I like that. Okay, well that'll do, pig. That'll do. I gotta keep remembering to get to get your out of the out of the board when I have the option to do so. You hear those dogs, dude? <laughs> Watson has such a funny little 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 yelp. Oh my god, guys, you have to you have to take it easy. This is my life now. Is it to keep it up? I could literally cast Orzov Signet. Any green lets us cast this, any blue lets us cast these two. I can play this face down, like Yeah, I think this hand's fine. <laughs> like we have three mana sources which have three of our colors. I I'm not sure if you're I'm not sure what what you're what better we're expecting to get here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um Oh, all right. Eating eating a pineapple. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, three mana sources of three different colors is like probably the best we can ask for. Also, Trigon Predator next turn is pretty insane. Well, that's going to deal us some damage, bud. I was pretty upset when Frank decided to stop playing jazz music, but when he decided to replace it with the squeaking sounds, it more than made up for it. Yeah, uh, kind of a big deal. I mean, we just have Trigon into Elspeth to get rid of this. It's not going to be ideal, but... Vigilance. 
Why would you give it vigilance instead of like a lifelink? I don't have any haste creatures. Should I shoot you an email? Yeah, Tim, definitely. If you get a chance, that would be great. We can start a we can start a little chat. Start a little dialogue. And we hit a fifth land. Beautiful. And you don't have reach, right? So, uh, I guess I'll take seven, go to ten. Elspeth this, attack? I mean, like, that's the perfect scenario, right? Uh, no blocks. Come on, one time. Still vigilance? I don't understand the vigilance. He gives lifelink. He could be up to 24 right now. Don't be like a resto. Okay, that's, that's really good. Oh, man, we're just drawing all the, all the bangers. See, this is nice because now Windswept, he can get our forest. Or like a breeding pool. Attack your face. Oh yeah, definitely use that big tip. Oh boy. Yeah, but they used it on a turn where I couldn't even cast it, right? Like, this is the first turn I've had five. So using it on, like, turn three, when I only have three mana in play, doesn't make any sense. I guess I could go... I Okay, sure. I mean, I guess you're avoiding, like, Mox Gideon, but, like, yeah, I guess that's fine. I mean, you have this Gideon on board. I'd still... Like, if I'm, go, if I'm putting my Gideon down to four to kill your... Um, you know, your 3-1, then, like, I'm probably already losing, <laughs> right? Like, because then you just attack my Gideon with your 4-4, four four, and that was, like, I don't, I don't have any mana because that was my play. <laughs> Buttery Miskits. I mean, we can play Yavimai Elder and Leovold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, yeah, we can. We could, uh... No, we can't. We only have two green. We need three green for that. So we can play Elder and then keep up mana, or we can just play Leovold here. That's actually the most insane draw we could have actually had. Yep, that's really good. Okay. Um... If they don't respond to this, then we might get to draw two cards from the Trigon Predator. Oh. That's really good. Oh, wow. So we're just going to either kill the Jitte. Or they give us two cards. <sighs> yep, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not going to work the way you think it works. Give me all those lands. I'm loving it. One, two, three, four, five. Are we, like, cl close to casting a a Woodfall Primus? That's wild. I wish we had a creature in our graveyard. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. We can also just block Gideon with Leovold 
No, nah, it doesn't do anything. We're just going to kill this, Gideon. If they actually play something, yeah, we're just going to path this now. Like, I was hoping they wouldn't actually use the ability before doing something else, because we could have done it during, like, upkeep, and I was like, mm, I don't want to do that. But if they're going to waste two mana to equip and not get an activation out of that Gideon... Don't forget you can get Yorion. I literally would have forgotten that. Can I pop this out? What is that noise you just started making? That guy's going to go right over here. Are we going to win this match with our 60 card Yorion deck? That's fine. You can get your sword. As long as it's not a pro green sword. Because. <laughs> Wait. They chose not to use the ability? What? I'm confused. Yep, no targets for that. Oh, well, we can just Den Protector get back Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Yep, that seems pretty good. We have six mana. We can go Den face down and Fairgrounds Warden. Yep, like that. If their last card is like sort of fire and ice, that'd be interesting. Leon and Relic Order. You're getting rid of my. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll just replace it with black. Don't worry about it. We got you. Yeah. Oh, what up, Jody Merlin? They have conceded. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think this is actually a make sure you cast Yorion and blink some shit deck. This was just Nick wanting me to play 60 cards and, and have Yorion in the deck because he's an actual, an actual lunatic. Guys, can we get some can we get some rips for for Monk HB in the chat? Because he's not actually he actually passed away, and uh, he's only able to chat with us through Twitch chat. So, um, it's really it's it's very sad, and uh, yeah, if we can get some some Fs in the chat for Nick, that'd be great. I'll choose this one. Oof, big oof. Eh, smaller oof. I'll keep this. We can ship a planes here. I always knew Twitch was haunted. Keep it. Ship it. Oh, they went to six, too. Michael's on the phone, he's like, no, no, no. He's talking to an automated system, and they're like, if you'd like to do this, press yes now. And you're like, no. Twenty two oh two. Oh man, that year sounds crazy. Okay, don't forget to put your out into our hand next turn, guys. All right, you ready? It's happening. Oh, we did it. Achievement unlocked. Can you imagine if they just play something stupid next turn and we get to go Hero Blade Hole and they just never have an answer for it for the rest of the game?
Oh, that's fat. That's fascinating. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> it's dead carnage, tyrant. Why doesn't he have shroud anymore? Why doesn't he have hexproof anymore? I don't understand. I feel like they're gonna try to reanimate some bullshit here. I wonder if I just phantasmal. Oh, I can't. I don't have any blue sources. Let's not be crazy. Let's not. Let's not be ridiculous here. Did I just hear of blade hold. Probably. Making your way downtown, walking fast in the car. You know I'd walk a thousand miles. Consecrated Sphinx is actually one of the most uh, innocuous things they could have discarded because now we can kill it before it even has a chance. Michael, this is your hair. I'm calling to let you know. I'm willing to give us another try. No. It's all over now. Ah. Oh, what? I was just making a noise, man. Making it way downtown. Get this thing out of here. You get a land, which is probably what I would have given you anyway. Had you. Oof. Hero Blade holds a hell of a drug. Always put the battle cry first. Click that B cry. I mean, they're dead on board, right? They gotta have, like, Languish, Toxic Deluge, some kind of bullshit. They will. I refuse to believe I'm gonna win this game like this, but... Stranger things can happen. I need a hero! I need a little... Live in the trash can like Michael B. Smells like trash every day. Is Michael B. That's fine. Okay. You killed the real MVP. There's a lot of damage. Battle cry on bottom. What are you gonna do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They go two. I feel like I got an eyelash in my eye. It's really driving me insane here. Like, even if they kill this hero, we still have four tokens. Yeah, it's straight with the token. Sounds good. I don't think we're casting you around. I think we're just casting Trigon Predator here. Where else would your eyelashes be? Not in my eyes. That's what I. That's for sure. Wow. I don't know what's happening, man. This 60 card Yorian deck is... Nick, what have you done, man? Nicholas, what have you done? Nicholas, please. I need a hero. Dude... 
do 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 This is probably a little closer to a keep. We have the black and the white. We have a two drop. Lots of lots of things for their for their things. God, Mike is being really disgusting out there. He's like burping and he's being disgusting. He keeps doing stuff. You're right. It's unbelievable. Like, just stop doing stuff, Michael. But he never did. He never did. He just kept doing stuff. Well, I guess I'm not going to block. That's some barf noise he made. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I think I just reanimate this idiot. Come on, dude. This is pro instance. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. No, I don't have a green. Put your dude in the garbage can. Do do do, garbage can man. Put your dude in the garbage can. I mean, if they if they played reanimate or Mike is out there yelling at Hunter for some reason. Now they're discarding polluted deltas? Wild. Jason Mind Sculptor. Kalanalind or Archmage, huh? Oh, I was really hoping for a land there. That's pretty good. I mean, considering they brought back phasing, I don't think Shadow's that far out of the realm. I'm pretty sure it's like... Definitely a, a mechanic they'll revisit again at some point. Froggy went according to the heat and ride a crumbo. Froggy went according to the heat and ride a Froggy went according to the heat and ride a Froggy went according to the heat and ride a Froggy went according to the heat and ride a Shadow, but instead of shadow, it's horsemanship. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. One is shadow. One is horsemanship. They're the same picture. Skidoo doo doo. Actually, we're not always gonna do that. We'll just do it like this. Play old Wardy. Wardy Jordy, get rid of this guy so you don't have any more shenanigans. Well, flying is actually different, though. The thing is, like, flying creatures can block non-flying creatures, right? Horsemanship creatures cannot block creatures without horsemanship. Like, horsemanship and shadow are different because they go into, like, their own different lane, right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're right. Actually, horsemanship's more like flying. I guess horsemanship creatures can block regular creatures? Is that right? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Horsemanship is just flying, yes. 
Whereas shadow is weird because shadow creatures can't block non-shadow creatures. Night's Whisper. He does need life to live. You're right. Man, can't really do anything here. That's unfortunate. Man, I got Sheldock Isle and a Search for Us Conta, and Search for Us, the Sheldock can go off next turn. That's pretty good. Nick, the irony is that you lost all of your life in a tragic accident. I am dead. It's a Grave Titan. Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to fracture identity of this, but we don't even have a fifth land, so I kind of just want to path it because it's that good. Nick, it's too gruesome to talk about. Where's the green man in this deck? <sighs> also, we would not have drawn a land and they would have drawn two cards, so. I feel like there's a lot of good cards in our deck. We're just not drawing any of them. Jace the Mind Sculptor, Fact or Fiction. Come on. Oh my god, I haven't put Yorin in my hand yet. Oh look, I said Jace the Mind Sculptor and there he is. Anyway, actually, if we can hit a land, that'd be great. Why haven't I put Yorgan in my hand yet? I keep looking at it and I'm like, oh, well, it's, all right. it's right here. Clearly I can just use it. Oh my god. See, this is, I keep forgetting. I told you I would keep forgetting. This turn, it's going to be turn eight. So let's see if we can hit a fifth land. Come on. I just want to fracture identity of this guy. I don't think that's a lot to ask. I mean, it's a bit to ask. Let's be honest. It's a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an ask. What's our record? 1-0 and up a game. You got those things on the grill? Oh yeah, boy. Nice. Papa's taking care of business. <laughs> Man, Michael went to work today for a full day. He came home, he went to the grocery store. He got some stuff on the grill. Michael's the adult we need. Land. Okay, because... 25 minutes. Let it preheat a little bit too, so. I'll let your face preheat a little bit. <clears throat> They're gonna go shell dock aisle for like a mana drain or something here. They didn't. Why don't you move my stuff? You know I'm gonna. I'll put it in your in your juice. Was it easier to get in the chair? Also, I messed up today. I know. My I'm supposed to start at five, but I got this coffee and I'm like, oh, I'll start at five. But as soon as I got the drink, I like put the straw in and I just auto auto sipped it and I was like, it was only four. Yeah. It's messed up. Like four thirty. It says 407 on the drink, Michael. Oh, yeah, they let us off early. I'm off. They let us go early today. Unbelievable. Tomorrow I start real work. Can anyone explain in the chat why Michael lies so frequently? It was an accident. Oh, he... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. It's only a $1,500 monitor. No worries. I think it'll be all right. Well. If it's not, I'm going to owe you a lot of money. Sometimes, you just, <clears throat> there's, sometimes there's risks you just rather not take, you know? I didn't think I was gonna knock it over, but you know. Well, sometimes when your when your arm hits things, that's how physics work, man. You don't know how physics works, Michael. I also had a little chicken, a little fried chicken. I had a little chicken, do 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 do. <clears throat> had a little fried chicken. See, they just bounce. If we if we get rid of this, they just bounce it with Jace. I also ordered my refill for my script from Heart Meds. If we do the Jace, we bounce this. And they just kill it. Ugh. I mean, if you survive a turn, right? What? If you survive a turn, draw a land. One's abandoned, overloaded. Right, but I don't want to, like, lose my... I don't want to. I don't want to die, Michael. Okay. Yeah, I mean we can copy Choops. Kill the Grave die? Titan. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only twelve, right? 
I mean, nobody wants to take 12, but you know. Play bird as a jumper. Oh, no, you can't. You know, nope. green. That's not how Magic the <clears throat> Gathering works. You could copy tubes. <clears throat> could also copy Grave Titan. But then he just bounces, I guess. He doesn't really do anything. Well, they don't get the Grave Titan back, but it still doesn't. We don't either. So it's yeah. like. I mean, you get two zombies on it. Which kind of like makes the board fine. And they still have a Jace. But I can see why you'd rather. Yeah, but they're going to be down ticking. Hmm. Oh, bold choice. Why? Are you just going to draw cards or? Yeah. Because I just want to hit a land for wins. Did I play a land this turn? Yes, I played an Arid Mesa. Well, Carnage Tyrant and Birds can easily go back. Uh huh. But. We don't get the shuffle anyway, so it's not like it matters. Um, and can you believe those impossible burgers are a dollar fifty for two? Put you and then you on top of that. You know, hello. You should have bought more. You should have bought all of them. They only had one like that. Okay, good. It was the only one marked down. Trust me, I looked. I was like, wait, what? A dollar fifty? Because my name is my. How much are they normally? Like five bucks? Five bucks, yeah, like four ninety nine. Wow, that's a huge savings. I know it's a random question, but have you seen the MacGruber movie with Will Forte? And if you have, how many times? And if you have not seen it, how many times have you seen it? Mike, I like the new haircut. <laughs> I never you know, I actually haven't seen the MacGruber movie. I, I, I do like the MacGruber skits on SNL. But, uh, oh, also, I was wrong about my schedule. They've decided that we're going to do 9 to 6 starting tomorrow. Oh, that's fucking, that's the best. I kind of was getting used to the 7 to 4. Oh, my fucking God. You've complained about it for two weeks. It's so early. I can't yeah, get but, like, up this Also, early, getting off I'm at 4 is sick, right? Well, yeah, but now you can stay up a little later, too. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be able to wake up at, like, 7... 45, 730. I'm going to do 730 tomorrow just in case because traffic might be different, but your mom might be different. Also in the meeting, they literally mentioned like the traffic's probably different, so you might want to. You might want to. So tomorrow I'm taking real phone calls. Guys, be sure you. But we're like, we're still like with, we have like a team chat and uh, two managers are in there and like whenever you need help, they'll come on by and like. Come on by. Also, after every call, we can stay and not ready for a little while to like kind of process what happened, and they're being pretty cool about it. Mike, you have to process what happened. So many comics. Man, you're like a comic watcher. You always I, watch. Yeah, I got like a million ones. I'm keeping my eyes on. Wait, what? You're Jace, Jace, and Jace. So Jace is definitely dead. Thanks to Exodus. Appreciate it. So we're just going to block here. I can't remember who all donated for the Your haircut. mother. Your mother was like, Michael, here's the 50 schnickels for your haircut. I want my boy to be so handsome. Oh, he's going to be an angel. And, and also, my mom showed PJ. And he was like, I like it. And then he went and got a, his hair buzz. <laughs> really? Kind of funny. Yeah. God, look, you, you, look here. You're an influencer, man. You're going to get Instagram fucking uh, opportunities every day now. Man, I can't wait for next Friday. No, it wasn't all Chase. Grave Titan was at us. And considering we're going to Winds of Abandon, I wanted to... I don't know what they're doing, though. I feel like if they cast something else, we just get to go Winds. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. They <clears> get to get, like, eight lands, but... Next Friday, man, that paycheck. Oh, it's going to be so sick. Oh. Is it a May ability? Is Winds a May ability? I don't think so. Because I think I wanted to not get them the other time. Plus we get to just next next Friday will be my next payday where it's a full two weeks pay, which is gonna be sick. I think you have to search, but you don't have to get them, obviously, because you can't force someone to, to put something into play. Recurring nightmare. Well, that's pretty good. Well, Winds does exile, so that's nice. Okay, so I think like get their only creature out of the graveyard back, just to, like kill us next turn. Oh wow, this is this is gonna be murder. 
No, it's not. Oh, shit. That's really good. We actually can't beat that. Yep. That's not ideal. Maybe they forget. There's no fucking way they forget. <laughs> they literally just did it. I mean, we're dead, so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Literally had to have a recurring nightmare. Yep. <sighs> Seems good. If you had more mana, if you ever got a green to play a birds and like an extra land, you could pulse then do it, but. Well, I didn't have nine mana, so. No, wait, that wouldn't work either because the pulse would just, they would just let it die and persist and then, yeah, that wouldn't work either. It didn't have a counter. It already had a counter on it. It did? Yes, it came back from the graveyard. Oh, that makes sense. So I guess that would work technically. I mean, yeah, if they didn't have reanimate there, they would have just been... One land... 26 lands on a fucking deck, and, like, we still draw one land openers. Come on. Oh, you're doing the, the Monk B step? You couldn't tell from the 60 card deck? Well, I didn't know it was 60 until you said 24 lands or whatever. I wasn't paying attention to your deck size. I mean, it looked pretty big. I'm sorry, I didn't... In, in the random draft, I didn't look at your deck size. <clears throat> You Mitch. No, I like your hand so far. Well, I'm just saying when the deck looks like this in sideboarding, <laughs> it seems like it's way more than obvious. Yeah, when I'm looking for cards. half a second, like it's really hard to tell that. I look for look at look at longer. Mike, are you enjoying the shaved head look? Um, I prefer regular hair, but I've gotten a regular couple hair. compliments and to it's kind of nice. Like on walks outside when it's hot, like it's a lot easier. And uh, oh my god, I forgot fucking Yorion. I'm such a. It's so annoying. It's just not something I'm used to. It's oh, because like, the the pay three, yeah. It's just definitely it's it's really hard to keep track of. That's, yeah, it's not intuitive. It doesn't say it on the card. Like if you never play them, you're not used to it. I mean, it definitely says it on the card. But oh, they changed it. Oh, okay, cool. I guess digitally they can do that. Mike doesn't go in the sun, so it's hard for him to add sunscreen. I literally was in the sun for 30 minutes plus. Don't lie. No one likes a liar. I, I was walking, man. I'm committed. I took the same walk, too, uphill and everything. It was brutal. Wow. But this time I brought actual shoes with me, so I switched into real shoes, like tennis shoes, and it made it a lot easier. Real shoes? Also, my one shoe is, like, I'm, I'm throwing those shoes out today. <laughs> it's so off kilter now, it's, it's gotten worse. What shoes? The shoe, you know how it was, like, bent? The one I hated? Yeah. Yeah, those are terrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear my boating shoes. This is order. actually a really big. If we like, if we had Yorian <clears throat> in hand, like next turn we can blink this. Yeah, that'd be brutal. It's really bad. Like next turn we can play Knight and blink it. So hopefully, like they just play something stupid. Yeah, that's actually, that's not great. <laughs> no, if we had a four or five on the board, that'd be pretty good. Well, no, being able to be... blink this and get rid of the Jace would be yeah. pretty good. Mike, if you lost a bet and you had to shave your head, you actually won that because it looks good, bro. I well, appreciate it. <clears throat> I think like I look like a weird egg, but what do I know? You know nothing, Lebowski. They plussed? They left the card on top? Fascinating. You or them? Me. Okay. Oh, interesting. I don't have any blue sources and you left a blue source That's for me? weird. What if we just had a blue card in hand? That seems... Huh. That's a really interesting choice. Yeah, this sucks. I think that's going to cost us the game. so bad like yes. this turn being able to cast four or five blink this and then <clears throat> kill the jace would be insane yeah and you couldn't have done it this turn because it'll die before you get to blink it brutal that's such a big deal that changes the entire game
Walk on by. Yeah, it's such a brutal mistake. Like, if we lose, it's probably because of that. Yep. It's also very <clears throat> good. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, but they're not going to change the rule for, like, not limited. That'd be weird, right? Yeah, you don't make a card function two different ways in two different formats. It's too confusing. I mean, I guess if we draw a green, we have an out to Jace. companion cause the changes the three that were good or whatever oh wow must be nice yep them not having jace on the board would be a completely different fucking game right now i'm just like so pissed at myself the worst part is that you have to sit here and play the fucking game out and be like oh cool i just have to survive with every single turn of my own fucking mistake like it's really annoying Green. Double black card. Green would have been very good. Yep. <clears throat> Fancy R, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. B -b 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 reset. totally dead like if we draw a green we're doing okay it's gonna get harder once our opponent realizes he can just brainstorm and actually gain value in this matchup as opposed to bouncing a random four three i guess it forced him to block i don't know maybe it's still fine oh cool that's fine Choose this. Oh, yeah, I guess we just blink night to kill it. Yeah, gotcha. <clears throat> Come on, green source. Daddy wants a green. What? That's aggressive. Sure. Well, I mean, if they're assuming their their dude lives, then well, they know about Urion though. Interesting. But I can't attack the same turn I cast Urion, so I guess it's just a free attack. <clears throat> Come on. I mean, also take a Fates Fetters on the Emrakul. That's fine too. Also, I think I'm done drinking black coffee. It's too brutal. Oh, we did it, boys. What you say Let's kill try to kill Liliana here. Thinking about buying caffeine pills. Yeah, that seems more healthy. 
Or you can just get enough sleep so you don't have to take medication to stay awake. And But, you know. No, I'm used to caffeine, though. And caffeine pills are so What? Cheap. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> but I already have a dependency on caffeine, so it's fine. And it's cheap, too. As long as the drug in question is cheap. That's really the important factor. That was what I was arguing against. I was worried about the money you'd be spending on a on a on an upper. I'm not gonna go crazy, man. I'm not gonna buy like 400 milligrams or some shit. I'm used to cocaine, though. <laughs> Plus, cocaine's really cheap right now. So what's what's the problem? Just get meth. Hmm. And caffeine does actually have medical benefits in low amounts. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. But it also has negative offense if you take too much of it. Negative offense? Negative effects if you take too much of it. You got a timer also for that other, girl, man? Yeah. Right here, bro. Five minutes. Five minutes. Check it and see. I live in the trash can with Michael B. There's a lot of other really good stuff in coffee, too, which is the downside, but, like, black coffee is just oh, it's so brutal. It just tastes like dog shit. That's interesting. You're clearly not a hipster, Michael. Maybe I just need a better brand. I don't know. It just It's too bitter. My brand. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard Mike B's mom has medical benefits. Wow. God damn. Have you tried not making your coffee out of dog shit? <laughs> well, hey, man. Nick, if you got a good coffee recommendation, slap it on me. Non-dairy creamer substitute sugar? No. Um, so it's person-by-person -person basis, but fake sugar can still trigger an insulin response, which will break your fast. That's actually great for us. So if they don't have... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoot. Wait, don't you just get an emerald here? Oh, they'll bounce it again. We gotta kill the Jays first. Well, we blink both of these, then we night night of autumn this. I have to blink them both. Oh god. This. Yeah, not big on tea. Check it and tea. Don't have a counter for my yari on. I don't drink gas station coffee. Gross. Wow. He sounded like such a fucking snob there I don't drink a gas station coffee <laughs> I usually do Starbucks their black coffee is like it's better than a lot of brands but it's not great uh, if we swing at Jace they block with Emrakul uh, I'm actually not doing so oh if they if they don't block though if, if they block that actually they kill it oh that's pretty good yeah you're right that would have been really good wait I don't understand well, that's because you're not paying attention to the game Destroy this. Destroy this. Hopefully that does all the things that we want. We also have four minutes on the clock, so... I'm doing 20 hour fast, so 20 and 4. Alright, like, I'm just F6. I have nothing to do on this turn. Well, somehow he managed to swing this game around. Yeah, well, I mean, they still have a shell dock. Which could have anything Hopefully under Hopefully they don't have two Emrakuls. <laughs> I mean, if this is a Grave Titan or like a Gristle brand or something, it's... Okay, that's actually fine. Well, Grave Titan would be good, but not like... Wait, what? Why would he do that? I guess we just kill a shell dock now for free? Oh my god. Does he know how to persist? What the fuck? Get it. <laughs> get it. <laughs> Super fits. I love it. It's purple, which is my favorite color. Oh my god. And we get fractured in it because they don't have... Yeah, they don't. Yeah. The other tapped out. Oh, wow. For those that don't know, this shirt says... Oh, oh god. The value. Oh, the value is so real. What the crap, dude? 
I still think we fracture the Glen because I think if we have a Glen up, they just can't win, right? Three, four, six, seven, eight. We only have eight mana. Wait, we can blink this. We can play fracture identity on this. Mm -hmm. Blink this with Yuri. No, we have to play the resto no. first. We yeah. resto this. We're still attacking with both. I think we're shining mana, right? Anyway, the shirt, you can't read the text because for some reason someone made it black instead of white. Um, I, I told him. I was like, Super Fritz, what are you doing? It says, have you been to the Castle Garden Bridge? Oh, it is, has delicious glass pies. This is fascinating. And it's got a little chef on it. I feel like, oh man, I kind of want to just rest Curse this you, now. Super Fritz. I think having this in play is just, is just significantly better. Yeah, no, I agree. Wait, wait, wait. Four, four. Damn it, no, it still doesn't work. Okay. Is Rest of the Primus better? Is it better? I mean, we kill a land. This becomes a 4-3 if we Rest of everything and we just prevent the damage. Like, this is still... Is the 6 damage worth making this a 2-1 in the future? I'm not sure. I just maybe? Get, I just want the value, man. They're at 20. We're definitely playing Resto. Super Fitch, you're, you're getting there, though. You're slowly improving your we just won the match. seal. Oh, they just conceded? Wow. That's cool. No, that wouldn't work because of the Signet. Um, time to flip them. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this hand. I'm on the play. Courser seems good. Check it and see. Michael's going to flip the veggies. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing. We could just get Yori on this turn, next turn play Courser, and then try to hit a land that way. I like that better because if there's a land on top, it's a little better to, like, you just get the Courser value. It's like drawing a card. Yeah, Nick knows what's up. I agree with Nick. Like, there's no value to playing Courser this turn. Ooh, interesting. Close this. One, two, three. Corsi boy. Path. Play a land. Well, we have three green sources. Next turn we can factor fiction. And keep up path. That's pretty good. Ty's been really busy on top of being inventory and I glad I finally got caught up enough to pop in. Super Fritz, I'm glad I'm glad as well, buddy. What time do you get off, my dude? Because it's like seven forty now. I guess what time does the store close? Probably like nine. Could you loop with Resto Primus and Yorian? Not at the same time, because, like, Yorian doesn't bring the creatures back until the end of the turn. Oh, wow. We have a Jace on top. We're just drawing a Jace. And they hit a Leovold. Okay. That's pretty good. You guys close at 11? Whew. That's wild, man. You guys have the latest, uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just face fettering this guy. I don't really feel like I'm stealing my Vindicate, so. I got an Ashiok. He is hungry. Oh, they're just going to do something. Mana Leak. Sure. Well, we're definitely attacking Ashiok. We could probably Vindicate him next turn. 
And I probably, I mean, we could vindicate him next turn, but it's still annoying. I wonder if they just put Leovold in the play here. Oh, we don't actually get to vindicate because that's how Ashiok works. I see. I always forget that, guys. And we get to draw an island. Cool. Yep, that's annoying. And we know we're going to draw that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wonderful. I feel like we're losing to a lot of subpar cards. Manly, Condemn, and Ashok. Like, it's like, these aren't pressuring us, but they're really keeping us from doing anything. That's kind of annoying. Um, take these two, and then next turn we can possibly play Elspeth. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Well, they win their ga games on their own, rather. Yeah, what Cyborg Gary said. Yep, sounds good. I don't follow the fluff. <laughs> oh, they're just going to fall in Shinobi. Yep, that seems cool. Well, probably going to get rid of that. With a little Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Fascinating. Everybody's having a good time. Oh yeah, we can't cast Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Let's go to the next game because we're having a good time. Ashiok's a fun card. Having a good time. What is the text on Yorian? Blink any number of non-land permanents you control. They come back at the end step. Wow. Um, sure. Yeah, it's you control. Non-land permanents you own and control.
Oh, that's pretty decent. Let's do that. Oof. I mean, this is a great curve if we can draw some lands, right? Uh, we didn't have two white mana to play Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Oh. Well, that's actually great because we get to bounce it with Tarifi. Well, hoping for a black land so we can vindicate the Bitter Blossom. I see. Also good. Oh, well, I guess that's kind of like a black land. Magic, you got a sense of humor. This is where they go Swamp, Bitter Blossom, and Lingering Souls. Oh. I mean, probably blocking here. I think having Teferi alive is a little better. Plus, Michael's having a good time in there. Elspeth conquers meth. Wow. That's pretty bad. I wish this was a Maelstrom Pulse and we had a green source. I think this is the end of our uh, our journey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, if only we can Restoration Angel of Teferi. Boy, that would be that. What a world! What a world we'd live in. What a time to be alive. No, we're not Yorgon, and we have Restoration Angel in hand. They're probably going to swing... Oh, all three at Teferi. Well, I'm still going to play Resto here. Sorry for the delay. Had to get the burgers ready, too. You did a little vacuum and just that a... Uh... Uh, I might have spilled a decent amount of seasoning. Huh. I went to put it on the wall, and it wasn't closed, and it's... <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't a whole bunch, so we still have plenty of it left. So you just put it on the wall while it was open? Yeah, basically. It's a good strategy. What is this, post-combat heartless act? Sure. So the burgers in the fridge waiting. I'll put those on once everything else is done. I think it's probably a little more important to get this off here. Play a land. Oh, we had Teferi in play. That makes sense. That is how that card works. That's a mop job, not a vacuum job? No, vacuum did totally fine. Yep, this is exactly how I assume they'd split it. Um... <sighs> and because I'm not excessively greedy. Don't, yeah, that would be insane. Gonna take the... We're gonna play planes because we know they have... It's round three or two? Fallen Shinobi. This is round three. Okay. <sighs> That's really... That might be unbeatable, actually. Michael. 
will be. If they tap our black source, I don't know if we can come back. We could draw a black. Yep. I think they're tapping both blue. Which is pretty nuts. Yep, that's great for us. Well, dodge a bullet there. Well, now we're back to an even game. <laughs> well, not even, but you know. And I'm still worried about Carnage Tyrant, so. Hmm. Less so when they keep tapping mana pre combat. It's your boy. Man, I haven't seen her in ages. Yep, I'll take a dose. The impossibles are crazy. I could barely tell it wasn't meat, except for like it's slightly browner than regular meat. Reminder, you're enough, you have nothing to do. That's a good reminder. You know what? You can also make another one next turn. Oh, I'm making another one next turn. <laughs> and play Elspeth, right? I hope they try to mana leak it. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could play Elspeth, get rid of Ashiok, and then make another. Yeah, you're really Ashiok? I don't know. We have a pretty big deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, big deck. Actually, what if Carnage Terran just wins it? Like, they're at 12. Yeah. Like, this is hard to deal with. I mean, Sacker. Go on back. I guess they get a Wrath. But that's totally fine for us. <laughs> they want to sacrifice, like, all their permits, basically. What? I mean, they get to keep these two. Well, still undo a lot of their work. Actually, this is actually a great situation for Elspeth, because we already have Hero, Resto, and okay, Tefri. Okay, some back. Yeah, that's nice. Did they just happen to top deck? No? Okay. Three, four, five. Winds of Abandon. Time Warp. That's pretty good. Certainly not bad. Well, that's worse for Elspeth. Of course, we literally just started talking about Elspeth. Uh, let's get rid of Winds. One, two, three. So now they attack for four. Yep. They still haven't yet to hit a creature. Like, they've hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. I mean, it's going to be close. Assuming they go all aggro. Can you tell me how to get. How to get to Michael Bees. <laughs> I you were going to say that. I feel like they're looking for Fallen Shinobi, and I hope they don't hit it. I feel like it changes our... I, I feel like it changes... Like, like I, think, I think we're actually favored with two Carnage Tyrants, because they just can't get in front of 14. Yeah, and they're not, they don't have... A, they can't race this either. Assuming we have two tyrants. Okay, again. That's fine. It doesn't do anything. It does literally nothing. Can you Elspeth in my face? Cause they don't have, they actually don't have mana. They don't have counterspell mana up either. And they, did they play a land this turn? Yeah, unless they have like no. Force of Will. But I mean, can't really play around Force of Will. So what are you gonna Maybe do? you can't. I guess if you had a thought so you could. Michael, can you tell me? Can you even tell me no, how to no, get? No, they this do system? have counterspell man up. 
Well, they can't counter me. I wonder what we play first. Well, black mana first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also have eight mana now. Only two green, though. <coughs> if you had your own force of will, you could play around force of will. Easy. Wow. Chris is a genius. Man, I'm Frank Lepore. Man. <laughs> oh, what up, Nathan? Good seeing you, my dude. Well, if they have mana leak, which we've seen, I'd like for one of these to resolve. Probably Elspeth. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get rid of Jace. I think Jace is more threatening than Ashiok when Ashiok has nothing going on here. Yeah, okay. Yep, there's the mana leak we expected. So they have to they could just shove three in front of this. They can also shove six in front of this. Appreciate the Yarion reminder. Uh but we don't have three mana left, so. Did they know about your image? No. How would they know? I wonder why they didn't... Oh, you could have paid because for Because it's Manalik. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, they got Murder Shredder, Corsair, and Faith's Fetters. Boy, they're hitting a lot of removal. And we can also just play Yorion, like, get Yorion, Blink, Elspeth Conquers, Death, get rid of Ashiok. But now they have six blockers for our Carnage Tyrant. Well, that's pretty good. Do you not have a fourth mana? Oh, we just Elspeth Conquers Death, that guy. That seems great. Hey, this is a community-based stream. It's Arion. Wow. Oh, they actually can't counter anything because we now have... Two, three... Oh, yeah, this is this is beautiful. Um... No, attack first, right? Because you can just blink your... Well, no, if we attack first, they block here, and then they get it back, and it's not on the board. Oh. Good point. Also, I mean, they're going to die to their own. Yeah, they have three turns. Yeah, I would just block with two flyers in this guy. Right, but they don't have to shove. They don't have to shove this turn. Is the point? Exiling this guy when they don't have enough mana to activate is pretty great. They could also exile our hand in graveyard. I don't really care about that. We have two cards. Yeah, it's exile all cards from our hands and graveyards. Like, we lose one Phantasmal Image in these two, which is fine. They could put Corsair into play, but, like, I think we're still doing fine. They also have the non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn, so. Next turn. No, that's, no, it went off last turn. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yep, there's a Corsair. Oh, Murderous Rider. Just putting Murderous Rider into play. Mm, Corsair would be so much better. Wow, that's wild. Maybe they don't have land. Mm. Mm, four, five, six. Fracture Identity, Elspeth. Get rid of Yorion? Sure. Mm, it's pretty good. Wouldn't mind a green mana here. No attacks at all? Mm, that's weird. Oh, that's surprisingly good. Well then. To 
This game is wild so far. It's a tight one. Well, we're definitely destroying an artifact or an enchantment. Yeah, I think it's got to be this. Well, it doesn't do anything, though. Yeah, but, like, they're at two, so we kind of want them to have Blossom. I agree with you. <sighs> so if we attack, they gain two. Yep, I'm just getting rid of four of these guys. Hilarious. Do we have anything that cares about black versus white tokens? I don't think so. Three, four, five, six, seven. So they have three power and we have a Trigon Predator. So they're going to four. Sure. Three effectively. And that was also our Murderous Rider, so it goes back in our deck. I mean, the problem is they're also going to attack with like a million flyers and their um, murderous riders. So no, no matter what, they're getting two life. But I just kind of want it off the board. I mean, they could play Corsair here too. I don't think it really matters. I mean, stop them from eating one a turn if they have lands. I mean, they have to literally have lands. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, can't really attack here because you have two, three flyers. So. Yeah, like they get they deal two to and lose a flyer, and then we get to crack back with both of these. Yeah, there's a courser. Baleful Strix on top. Good to know. That's really good. Wow. Didn't that gain anymore? Yeah, that's really annoying. They gain two from Phantasmal Image and Carnage Tyrant. Can I get a white source or a green source for this Woodfall Primus? Wow. It's a sick hand. Sick hand. Wow. Jeez. Yep. Cool. So next turn they attack with everything. We take four. Yep. Seems good. Well, we tried. 2 1. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at managerators.com, which has an amazing subscription service for Magic Online. You can get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below in the description. Check either the YouTube description or the uh, twitch.tv slash Frank Laporte description. And uh, it's actually a really great deal. And Michael. Gotta go. Maelstrom Pulse, Island Swamp. Wow, Maelstrom Pulse would have been great. They have five creatures we could have taken out. Instead, they get to play... Goodbye, y'all. Karn Liberated. And that is the game. Cool game. <laughs> Must be nice. Thanks for watching. Nick, appreciate the stipulation, my dude. I'll see you guys next time.